things you do they make me no no this distance is taking a hold of me for sure Um, so one of the things that I wanted to do, and you can take a second and just kind of like notate this. I want you to think about something that is something that people would say about you. So I'll give myself, for example, people would say I'm stylish. People would say that I'm, um, you know, I have, you know, like a really good light when I go into a room. Think about something that people would describe you as. And then just just take maybe like two minutes and then anybody want to want to shout something out. What's something that somebody would say about you? Now, not necessarily when you walk into a room, just about you in general. I have a nice smile. Okay. You shot you shot. <laughs> they love my smile. Mine is creative. You're creative. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I show up. You yeah, show yeah, up. You sure do. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I'll just 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 as, a, just as an aside. Keisha is the um she's the the head of Black Women Connecting on Facebook, and I will say you definitely brought some eyes onto businesses that I didn't know about, activities that I didn't know about. Yes. So you know, um, anybody else before Heather? I, I, I show like food. <laughs> So there are also there are also things that people may have said about us that we might have like shifted the narrative about. Like, oh wow, like you're really tall. That used to and I'm only five six, but you know what I mean? Like that used to feel like a lot for me. Like, oh wow. Okay, um, I don't wanna I don't wanna feel too tall. I don't wanna feel like I'm always I don't wanna feel like I'm, you know, um, too too left brain because sometimes you know we found a nice yeah. way to stay creative, but yeah. we haven't always been accepted yeah. in being creative. And I know yeah. everybody in here is a creative in some way, but in growing up in school, you, you talk too much, you were moving around a little bit too much, you were a little bit too flighty, like all of these labels that have been placed on us to allow us to shrink. Um, so now I want you to think about what's something that you do and that you could provide. To another woman in this room to help to elevate her. Build her confidence. I work out a lot and I like to eat healthy mm -hmm. and I have a lot of people that come to me for advice in the gym of like healthy meals and how to eat, how to right. fast, stuff like that. So anybody else? I think I'm the same as Karen since um, I'm definitely a encourager. Right. So I think a lot of people look forward to at least being uplifted. Yes. Just to move yeah. in a direction, though I might not be able to provide you with all resources, I at least try to extend it <laughs> to in a sense. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I'll say, um, when I started Faith and Fashion 360, which is, which is my blog, 
well, it was a blog. It started off as a blog. Now it's a now it's a radio show getting nominated for awards and all this other fantastic stuff. But when yes. I first started it, thank you, thank you, Bobo from the outside of the link. Um, <laughs> when, when I when I first started Faith and Fashion 360, it was on Sunday. You know, you go to if anybody goes to church, right? You go to church, you are dressed like from head to toe, not a hair out of place. Yeah, yeah. What he said? What did he say? Uh huh. Yeah. And and dwell among them. Oh. Hey. Hey. That this is one of those like microfiber cloths, you know, wipe off your makeup and all of that good stuff. So I definitely will need that for sure. A beauty. Oh, I think I know the. I think I know the the brand owner of this, Bella and Co Beauty. Is that you? That might be me. Oh, I think that's me. I don't. I will take it. You did. You gave me. I have a couple of my things in here. If you want to, you can give them to somebody else. I gave you the wrong bag. I think that's actually supposed to be her little bag. No, that's her stuff. She don't want her own stuff. That was a blue bra. Stick of pens. And from one of our other sponsors, um, She Reigns, Trish uh, Womack. She has a sustainable female hygiene products brand, um, really speaking to us about why, you know, some of the store brand pads and tampons and stuff may not be the best for us. So she does really good at like education and things like that. So she's got, she's got some samples in here as well. So thank you to Jasmine for hosting such a fantastic event. You missed this one, but make sure you catch the next one. Yeah.